birthday, I got a running presents. I got a new running vest. I got a new running belt. I got a new drink bottle. I got a Thera gun. Like all these things. <laughs> yeah. uh, this is just my personality now. <laughs> 100%. What I'm doing after the marrow, I, uh, look, I actually haven't planned that far ahead. If I'm honest, a couple of friends and family will be in the area, so definitely we're going to get some good brunch afterwards. They pass out in the afternoon. Yes. How about you? Um, I'm very lucky. We've got my mum and my husband's mum, because my husband's also doing the half marathon. Well, I keep telling him that I'm going to beat him, but now he has been doing lots of training, so I think he's going to beat me, which is very sad. But uh, the whole time, him. he wasn't running, and I'm like, I'm going to beat you. I've got friends who are coming, my, both of our daughters. Um, we've got a whole support crew coming with us to watch. This is a massive thing for both of us, so there might be some banners. We'll see, we'll see. Yeah, see what happens. Yeah, pop up. <laughs> yeah. So I'm sure afterwards we're gonna have to go for a big celebration because yeah. my mum really cried when I did the 10k, let alone the whole marathon. Yeah. Queue <laughs> up those public toilets beforehand and go to the toilet just before I start, even though it might take half an hour to get there in the line. Yeah, you're dancing <laughs> with the devil. I got a buddy who takes a gastro stop. Oh, that's a good idea. I was like, just not checkers, man. Like, you know, good. Wow, smart. Yeah. Definitely just get it out, and then if you go pick, you go pick. Like, we're going to catch it. For me, it's safety pins to, like, basically stick all the different gels and, like, cramp stop little tears. And even feed bit. If I'm running around without safety pins, I always have band-aids on me. Oh, Casey sure. listeners, yeah, yeah, always have band-aids. And I like having a little rain belt to keep, you know, my phone in and my asthma puffer and all the little oh, things, just sure. in case. I am very lucky that my asthma is very well managed 99% of the time, so I just always make sure I have like my puffer on me and my spacer, so I just have like my little running belt and have that with me. Um, and if I need it, I just kind of stop and have that as I go. Um, normally 99% of the time, but yeah, I just, I feel like my running has made my asthma better too because I'm bitter and you know, obviously that takes away some of the stress on your lungs and the I'm definitely not qualified to say what I should eat. Yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah, exactly. Honestly, if I get out of my way, honestly, just getting some like simple carbs in is, is what I'm going for. Whether it's a slice of like cafe style raisin toast, crumpet, maybe a banana before a run, just to give me a little bit of something. Yeah, for sure. I have banana as my go-to. Banana or an apple, maybe a protein bar, lots of water, and a coffee. Always yeah, a coffee. Actually, I can't yeah. run without a coffee. I definitely listen to music. I've tried podcasts, I'm not a podcast girl. And my favorite running song would probably be Big Energy by Lato or anything by Rizzo. Big oh, fan, yeah. It's always the hype music. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, what about you? Um, I think like I, I love getting a podcast or even like a, like an audio book and listening to some, you know, sports. Yeah, something chill shit. helps you kind of yeah, not yeah. go too quick. Yeah, yeah 100%. Stuff, it keeps yeah. me like stay like um, easy. But music. When I'm going a little bit quicker, that's like, that's why you're right. Speed no, yeah. sessions, you definitely need music. Oh, 100%. Yeah. No, they're yeah. no, no, like, bang, you're away. Like, music I listened to in high school, like Calvin Harris, David Guetta, like, let's go. <laughs> Anything was on Guitar Hero. Or, I don't know, there's these guys like Southern River Band who just, uh, uh, I just gotta give them a plug because I think they're amazing. <laughs> like, I'll be running and then, you know, one of their, like, riffs will come on. And like that, it's so often fun. Yeah, yeah, when a favorite song yeah. comes on, the one that's been getting me most lately, though, is uh, Bye Bye Bye. I like dancing. Yeah. You do like a couple of these ones. Yeah, yeah. You have to look around you so you don't like dance in front of people. You're oh, like, I'm dancing in front of people. Wait, I don't. I don't know. I'm like totally. 100% coffee. I've never had a pre workout in my life. I'm a coffee girl. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'm a kid. I'd love to try a pre workout. Yeah. I haven't. I just haven't. No. I can get back my head and blow off. But uh, double, double shot. Double uh, shot coffee. For like Every day, yes. Yeah. In my experience, 100%. I'm pretty live on them in training. Uh, during the marathon, for sure, like every 25 minutes. I'd recommend it, for sure. But you need to keep fueling yourself, particularly if you're going for, you're going for broke, PBs, yeah, yeah, yeah. or whatever. Well, I haven't uh, even tried one yet, but definitely will be having them for the half. 100%. I, I wear ASICs to run. I yeah. have like the Gel Keanu 30s and they've been perfect for all my training. I am looking to purchase some new ones just for the half marathon. Just nice. make some carbon plating in them. So my Keanu's have seen better days because I've used them for the whole year. But I definitely will get some new runners in them. You know, I think you really will feel a bit of spring in your stomach yeah. when you get those. <laughs> yeah, I think like finding the right shoe for you is essential, particularly as you start to do more K's. I've rotated a few around. I love ASICs. Um, I think they're awesome. I just jumped on 
to the on-running uh, bandwagon, which everyone uh, seems to be more and more popular. They've gotten pretty dirty right now. I love them. I think they're fantastic. I've got like different race shoes and, and stuff, but generally I'm you know rotating maybe two or three pairs of the train. Yeah, I haven't got the collection. Oh, it's it's yeah, it's yeah. I think that definitely like having the right shoe makes a difference. Um, particularly if you're finding like that you're getting a lot of uh, blisters or that your knees are really sore or like joints are really sore after a run. Rotating them yeah. too, I think is important. Um, still rocking the same hair like after you know more than seven, eight, nine hundred Ks, then you can be it's Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you can be in uh, strife. Which is something I definitely used to do because I just didn't didn't know. Yeah. I, was run, I was running on like my socks basically. Like, there was just no stability at all. It doesn't take much time out of your week, especially at the start. You're only going to be running for 15 minutes, even up to half an hour. You're not needing hours a day to get into running. It could just be 20 minutes a day, four times a week, and that's going to make a massive difference. And you don't need to be running to like get yourself ready for a marathon either. If you're not a runner, like there's so much stuff out there. Like I started running in probably like a pair of Converse and an old t-shirt, you go out for a couple of k's and yeah. you're like, I'm just happy to be out there. I think it's like one of those sports that really is just you against yourself and every run you're trying to oh, get it's, it's so mental, it is. Yeah. yeah. And even um, like knowing when you start, you don't have to run 10 k's for it to be worth it. I know the person that won the Melbourne Marathon last year, the girl, she had a baby and she then came back and she did run walking to start off with. Like awesome. even, and she won Melbourne Marathon last year. Super elite people don't have to you know, come out and smash it straight away. She even started just by doing that. When you're on the outside looking in, it can seem like, Daunting. Yeah. Daunting, yeah. Just started. Running is so hard. It and people who talk about running are yeah. like really into it. So like, yeah. oh, I did like yeah. 25k on the weekend. Yeah. Like, all right, man. Like, there's all sorts of levels. It's so fun. Yeah. And if you get out there and run, it's better than doing nothing. Like, even if it's a slow run, who cares? It's you're just joy. there and you're running. Yeah, you get fresh air. You get the and then you, become, you end up loving it. You end up wanting to do it. Like, oh, I, 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 I look forward to my runs now. At the start, I was like, oh, this is so hard. But now, like, oh, I get to run tomorrow. That's awesome. Oh, Jazz is Like, I'm whooped. I'm like, I can't. I don't know. Just the 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 endorphins that come from it. You never think. Person, do you? No, no. <laughs> I have days, so in my head, like I go to Pilates Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Sunday, at least, and sometimes on Saturday, and then my running days are normally like Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, Sunday. So I have like in my head, they're my days, and if I miss one, then I've got to catch it up, so I don't want to miss one. You have the same tick. Because yeah. <laughs> it started out as like super casual, just I'll get out when I can. If you yeah. do that, you get to the end of the week. And yeah, oh, <laughs> totally. And then you're like, oh, I don't know. But when it's a proper, like, block program, then it's very easy instruction. Yeah. Outside of that, a bit more chill. Yeah, but, but knowing, also, like, you have those recovery days is really important. When I'm just, like, casually running and it's not for an event, like, not really caring about it. It's like, low and slow, you know, try not to injure myself. Yeah, happy to be out. Yeah, yeah, legit. Like, yeah. That's the, I love the social element, like going out with a few buddies, talking smack, when it's um, training for an event. Yeah, for sure. Like going through uh, pacing, doing intervals, like getting a little bit more stringent on cadence and, and, and the works. Yeah, no, nah, live for the kudos. Live for the like same six people who give me kudos. Yeah, and I really like that it tracks that, um, you know, your PBs and that kind of yeah. thing, and even over like the segments that you've done. So it might not be your best 5Ks, but it might be the best that you've ever done that segment too, which I really so, like that it gives you that feedback. And I know for my interval run, my fartlek type runs where I'm doing speed training and it tells me, you know, that I ran under four minute pace for 30 seconds and things like that. I'm yeah. like, oh wow, I've actually improved it. I'm killing it. And it tells me that, that I've improved, you know, just with that little bit of feedback. Too. That's very yeah. satisfying when you yeah. see like a fitness score go up or your VO2 yeah. max. The other thing that keeps me honest is like the weekly totals. Yeah. That's what, because I'm, you know, with OCD brain, and I'm like, I'm going to keep it. But keep it keeps insane, man. I guess it's good because you can put your Pilates and your running on there as well because it Sorry. shows me my recovery and how much I've done on that exercise for that week. So it will tell me that I've done pretty much one week and that I need to settle down the next week. Like with Pilates and running the line. For me, like in high school, no, I was not a fitness person yeah, whatsoever. Right. I think when I was 16, I was like, okay, I want to play basketball and start like doing some form of exercise because I just have never done anything. Yeah. And then I had a really good like, PE teacher in year 11 and that made me want to become a PE teacher. So that's like what I studied. And then um, I always played basketball and refed and just kind of did exercise like that, but never like on purpose went and exercise. So then I started KX and then that became my exercise and that became something that was in my routine. That's kind of continued for like, eight years. Yeah, well, <laughs> yeah. it's strong. Yeah, then, classes to be done. I've done more, but it was like previous studios and things. So maybe the last kind of four years I've done like yoga classes. Yeah, I just hit 100 um, classes and not last weeks. 
Oh, awesome. Yeah. <laughs> what about you? Um, yeah, I mean, if my mates would be like, yeah, this guy was the most uncoordinated operator in high school. I was just not, I mean, I gave it a go. And to be honest, in my early 20s, I like, was not the picture of yeah. Um But I started to uh, pick up running just to keep myself in shape. And, and since then, I've, um, yeah, come to love it. I feel like, um, like running and Pilates, like all of this like exercise, obviously there's so much endorphins being released and knowing like that's in your plan and that's what you're going to be doing every week and it becomes like not even, it's not a negotiable thing, like you've got this in your plan. For me that like provides structure to my life and it makes me know what's going on and I feel really good. I couldn't agree more, like it's, I love the structure that it provides. Again, it started because I just wanted to drink a few more beers and like at its core, it's still that. It's not going to get in the way of the rest of life, in fact it's kind of there to complement. Yeah, for sure. Way, and I don't like with having kids and stuff, like just making that time for yourself. It's so important and it, you know, it feels like you know, you're going away and that mum guilt and all of that's really hard, but at the end of the day you're a better parent, you're a much you know, healthier for your kids and like my little girl, she watches me run or she's watched me at Pilates and then I went into her bedroom and she's doing Pilates on her bed saying I'm just like that's my mum, awesome. which is the cutest <laughs> thing ever. But like you're like, you know, setting that up for them as well. So between my two babies, I was it was COVID and I just had like no capacity to really get out and go to Pilates because everything was closed and I was very unmotivated. So after I had my second baby, I was very keen to get back into it. And yeah, for almost six weeks, I went back to Cam KX and I just felt like I felt so much better in my own body. Um, running started at 12 weeks postpartum. Um, just, you know, running is a bit harder on your body than KX is. So I just felt like um, running was so great for me. Like I just feel so much fit up because of my running. And KX has really helps with like my core and my strength since yeah, having babies. <laughs> Uh, bucket list one was definitely one. Uh, I got to run that one. It was actually one of my like first marathons. It's absolutely beautiful. After about 10 k's, all I was focused on was like three meters in front of me. So, <laughs> Finishing the yeah, I was like, I'm gonna get through this. Yeah. It's incredible. I mean, I you know, there's all the big marathons around the world that I'd love uh, if you know I get the chance to. Whether it's Berlin or New York, it would be incredible. Was it hot in Milan when you ran? It was okay. It was springtime, oh, okay. so it wasn't too. It was a little yeah. bit muggy, but like not too bad. I mean, the Gold Coast is like just awesome. Right next to the beach. Right yeah. next to the, yeah, the, 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 and the vibe is so good. Like everyone's kind of flying up and excited, and there's I don't know how many people. But there's it's a massive one. Tens of thousands. Yeah. Like it's insane. And this will be my first time doing Melbourne, so I'm really excited to see how it goes. We were saying before, great way to see a city. Oh, hundred yeah. percent. Running in general, like when you're traveling, some people will might be like, ah, oh, you're on a holiday, dude. But I think it's actually like in the morning, a great way. It's the best running on the beach in the Gold Coast. So I ran over the Sydney Harbour Bridge this year. Unreal. That was beautiful. And I never would have thought that would be a holiday, but it's such a cool way to see the city. And you're like, all right, now I can have like six bowls of pasta. And you just put on Strava that you ran it. Just well, cool. yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. The kudos, <laughs> yeah. all worth it. I did a run in the Philippines and it was 42. So I did one run in three and a half weeks because it was 42 degrees, but it was on the beach in the Philippines and that's how much rough was. Nice, get that sort of kick. Yeah. <laughs> Morning run, just really yeah. flex on it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly, nice. Yeah. <laughs> My favorite running route in Melbourne um, has to be doing uh, anything like sort of up through Yarra Bend or um, Old Capital City Trail. There's a great sense of community around it. That's probably right there, and then, I mean, right along the beach. So, it's kind of yeah. undefeated. I mean, yeah. It's just, it's it's stunning. So anywhere like from Port Melbourne to St Kilda to Elwood, it's, it's, it's wicked. Yeah. yeah. How about you? Um, I live in the hills, so finding some flat to run near me is the biggest yeah. challenge. So I love running a cutting near reservoir up on the damn wall. It's really nice and flat. Um, but if I'm looking for something a bit more challenging, the Puff and Billy Trail is just near my house. So nice. I um, run there, but it's very hilly. You're running against Puff and Billy? Yeah, or? well, actually, that's two weeks after Melbourne Marathon, so probably not. Ah, okay. It's like 13 and a half <laughs> Do the recovery, yeah. 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 And yeah, it's so like bad. 500 meters of elevation. It's really, really, really hilly. Yeah. So there's a stretch near me that's not super duper hilly. So sometimes I do that run. Are you doing a lot of hills just in your general trekking? Not too much, because I run on the wall. Oh, good, yeah, yeah. yeah. I was just going to say that, yeah, no. you'd just be like. Otherwise it'd be super fit, no. <laughs> Everything I do is so flat. Yeah, like if I come up in an incline, it's like, I'm dead to run. I purposely find the flat houses, because yeah, yeah. around me everything. That's yeah. also why I feel good. 